deep in the heart of Sea of Thieves lies a burning flame and one soul's hell-bent desire to conquer the waves. <coughs> so, today, we're, we're going to talk about how to send those ghostly ships back to the depths from which they came. The first thing I'm going to recommend, and a lot of players are going to say don't worry about it, but stock the ship up. You want to make sure you have plenty of supplies in the event that you have to deal with a skeleton ship or another player encounter. Also, while you're at it, make sure you get a hold of a rowboat, just in case your boat sinks, you can come back and safely get the loot. Now that the ship is stocked up, let's talk a little bit about strategy. When entering into the fight, you want to pull your sails to around half. This will reduce your movement speed, but will also allow you to get as many cannon shots as possible into each passing ship. When you're sailing around the fleets, sail in a S or figure 8 pattern, doing your best to avoid their broadside and getting as many cannon shots in as possible. Sailing around the fleets like this is the best way to prevent damage to your own ship and do maximum damage to the ghost ships and still give you time to repair and bail. Speaking of repair and bail, it's important to know which one to do when. In this situation, I know I have two buckets of water and three damage points, so I repair the two largest holes and scoop one bucket of water. This will give me enough time to go top deck and evaluate what my next move is. I know with only that one small hole that my ship's going to be able to take a few cannonballs before I'm going to have to repair, so it's right back into the fight. Now, something very important to keep in mind is when you run out of cannonballs, you're not out of the fight. The blunder bombs, fire bombs, chain shot, and curse cannonballs all work against the ghost ships. The curse cannonballs won't have any effect, the fire bombs won't set them on fire, the blunder bombs won't knock the ship, but they will all effectively work the same as cannonballs. Let's talk about one of my favorite ways to fight these ghostly galleons using the cannons from the island. Whether you're on a solo sloop and you just happen to lose your boat, or you're on a crew, make sure you take advantage of this because it can help you take it out quick and easy. Also, the ghost ships don't shoot at islands. Moving on to the harpoon. Most players know how important it is to utilize this tool to get your treasure out of the water. But considering how densely packed these skeleton fleets are and how close they are to the island, you need to make sure that you're using the harpoon as a way to maneuver either back into the fight or use it as a way to maneuver your ship out of range of cannon fire, keeping you free from damage. This is one of the biggest fights to come to see at Thieves thus far. So, I hope this video helps you out. Leave a like if you liked it, and if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. See you next time.